Today, let me introduce one of the most profound investors in Japan, I think. And also, let me share what I learned from him and what you can also learn from this guy. His name is BNF and he is an individual stock trader. I learned so much from him when I first started to learn about investing and even now, there are a lot to learn from him still. Well, BNF started stock trading when he was 21 years old with a fund of about $14,000 and in 8 years, at the age of 29, he increased the fund to more than $150 million. And why I think he is the master of trading is not just because he is good at trading or not because he is smart. So what is it? It's about emptying the mind without any emotions attached to the trading. What I thought when I first saw him on one of the TV shows in Japan was, for example, like when he was talking about how much he earned on the month, he said he gained a million dollars on the month. But when he talks about it, his faces move. No facial expressions. And when he talks about how much he gained in the past year, he said it was about $100 million. And when he talks about that too, he never shows his feelings to it. I mean, no facial expressions, but he said that with the same tone of voice. And I still remember it gave me the most impact and it was very sensational to me at the same time. Actually, on the TV program, the interviewer says, for example, when he looks at uh, the BNF's trade volumes, he says, wow, I cannot stand with that pressure to deal with that much money, with some difficult and struggle face on it, right? Or when he realizes how much capital BNF has, he goes, wow, so you can't live now without working for your entire life, with some big smile on his face, things like that. You know, the interviewer was so emotional every time he sees how BNF is trading because he was standing right next to BNF and watching his trades. And the interviewer was very emotional. But in contrast, BNF never shows his emotional expressions. Trading just like a machine or something. And that was a great, great lesson to me. And on different talk show, BNF says that he never withdraw money. He said he stays away from looking at the actual cash because when he sees it, then the investment becomes hardship for him. And this is exactly what I feel too. For example, when you are winning trades and looking at the running profit of like $10,000, as soon as you start to think what you can do with that much money, with that much profit, like you might imagine you can buy this or you can go there or like you can pay debts, things like that. As soon as you start to imagine like that, you never have a chance to gain the amount of money you desire. So here's a lesson. When you are trading, you never stick to the actual money. Because when you stick to money and when you start counting cash, then your emotion gets in and you cannot be able to execute trades based on an economic rationality. And that's why the trading fund should be with your spare money. For those who put their money for living into investment, they are the worst suitable for trading. And also funny thing about the interview was when BNF shows no emotional expressions during the interview, the interviewer said to him, are you happy with this job? In which he replied, oh yeah. Then on the studio side, there was an owner of a ramen shop and he said the way BNF is living is unbelievable. Not really in a good way, I guess because he didn't feel the passion from the way BNF trades. But I wanted to make it clear here. If you have been trading for some time already and if you already start to question, is this what brings happiness? If you start to think like that, then you cannot be in this world for a long time. In other words, if you think your life becomes great with full of emotions and feelings by this job as a trader, then to be honest, you shouldn't become a trader. And that's why entrepreneurs or business owners, for example, do not always do good on investment because their main job is to lead other employees or members in a group by talking about his dream and will uh, with a positive tone of voice, motivation, and passion, right? 
That's usually what requires to be a leader. However, even if you put your value of life in passion and emotion and motivation, that doesn't always lead to be able to make profit over time in Forex. Well, most of the time, that's what drags you from making profit. Also, if you value communication skills, social skills, and the sense of relationship to others, if you value it too much, then that also can be what makes it difficult to make profit over time. For me, my nature is empty mind. Like when anything great happens, then that's great, but I'm a type of person who don't really express it too much. And I'm not too optimistic, but not too pessimistic either. I only invest and trade with neutral mindset, and that's why I can do good on trades. And I learned it from BNF. In my Forex group mentoring service, the goal is to become like a BNF. Like he won't be happy just by gaining money, and he won't be sad just by losing trades and losing money. But if you have a habit of converting the profit or running profit to the materials or cash in the real world, then it actually makes it difficult for you to win over time because your emotion is already getting into trading. So you need to train yourself to switch your mindset from、uh, being passionate to not being passionate or from being emotional to not being so emotional every time you know, while you're trading. So, let me tell you how I think once I put the money into the Forex account. Once I put my money into the Forex account, I think myself that next time I see that money again is going to be 10 years later. And if you cannot imagine like this, I mean, if you can't wait and expect how it turns after 10 years, if you can't imagine like that, then you might not be ready yet. You might be putting too much value on money and your emotion is still attached to the fund. So, in that case, you better change your mindset. Like when you put your money into the Forex account in your broker, just think you threw that money away and it's gone. It never comes back to you. The reason why I say this is if you cannot think you threw that money away, then you cannot cut loss rationally and objectively. So, Think like from a moment you put the money into your Forex account, it's gone and never comes back to you. And even if you win a couple of times, don't be happy. The reason why I say this again and again is if you cannot understand this, no matter how much you study about technical analysis, you never win over time because of the psychological intervention. So you win, but don't get happy. You lose. But don't feel sad. Don't put your mind into the value of money itself. Thinking like, if I had this much money, I would be buying this or doing that, things like that, you know? Don't put your mind into the value of money while trading. And if you cannot do it, you're not ready yet psychologically. So, in other words, you better think it's like a cash in Monopoly or other board games. And this is going to be the very first step to switch your mindset. And if you really get this, then you can do all I explain i n g on the videos, like placing positions where it should be, taking profit where it should be, and also you can cut loss where it should be. So, emotions like feeling good or feeling bad or passion is actually what brings humankind to the next level, but it's not really the case when it comes to trading and investing. Ichimoku Sanjin. Uh, the investor of Ichimoku Kinko Hyo also states always trade just like you have no positions. Always trade just like you have no positions. So, even after you place positions, the winning traders won't attach their emotions to it. According to the scenarios, they just do what they should do objectively and rationally every time they trade one after another.